Welcome! In this video, we'll share five tips to help you get ready to start your Salesforce Data Cloud implementation. First up, tip number one, review the Data Cloud Setup Guides. This is a crucial step in ensuring a successful implementation. These written guides will help you provision Data Cloud in your org, assign users and permissions, and begin ingesting data. Tip number two, don't go it alone. It's highly recommended to work with experts who have previously implemented Data Cloud. Partnering with a certified implementation team, whether from Salesforce services or an external vendor, is a smart move. They will provide guidance, keep your project on track, and coach you through the process. Tip number three, get internal alignment with product owners and decision makers. It sounds obvious, but clearly defining who's in charge of what can help you avoid false starts and have a successful, smooth kickoff of your implementation project. Make sure everyone is clear on priorities and objectives. If you're like many customers whose data is spread across many business units and systems of record, include a product leader from each of those areas in all planning meetings so that data gets included. Tip number four, plan for data dependencies. Are you implementing multiple products simultaneously? Do you need service data for a suppression use case? Have all the necessary connections been made to Data Cloud? Is the data available in Data Cloud? If you answer yes to any of these questions, or if you know of similar dependencies your team will encounter, make a plan to move forward even while you're waiting on a dependency. Don't wait for everything to be 100% ready to go. Focus on key use cases with a quick path to value that can be accomplished with the data you have today. Tip number five, understand your plan with the unified profile. Data Cloud ingests data from various sources to create a unified profile that lets you see everything about an individual in one place. Define with your team how you'll use that profile to align with your goals. Consider what you want to accomplish now. That wasn't possible before. The outcomes of your goals and planning discussion will help define your project scope and implementation architecture. For example, imagine a fashion retailer that's never had a way to see how their emails and text messages directly affect website browsing activity. Data Cloud will help them bring that data into Salesforce. They wanna use that website activity data in combination with Salesforce AI tools to help them send even more effective texts and emails to clients in the future. They will go ahead and scope that as part of their pre-implementation planning. As we wrap up, let's look at some high-level next steps for getting started with Data Cloud. Review enablement resources and gain admin access to Data Cloud. Identify your implementation team, including internal stakeholders and an experienced Data Cloud implementation partner or services expert. Define your use cases and Data Cloud success metrics. Discuss what you want to achieve with Data Cloud and how you'll know if it's a success. Your data cloud is only as strong as the data you feed into it. So be intentional and strategic about what data you prioritize for data cloud ingestion. Take the time you need to do this pre-work and you'll have a solid foundation to officially begin your technical implementation. Work with your chosen implementation partner and follow the setup guides to bring your vision to life. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.